All right, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you um, how I've used a new stamp set. Now I made this card, but I didn't have a sentiment that I wanted it to go like that. Um, happy anniversary sentiment. I only had one where it was happy and then anniversary underneath, but I wanted it all on one line. So, in Stampin' Ups, um, spring and su summer catalogue found this and it had happy anniversary there but it is one big stamp with a big die so I am going to show you I hope I haven't done it yet how to cut out a die um, a sentiment so I'm going to have to cut the whole lot out, which I don't mind. There is a way you can do it, just cutting out the one you want. But I've not tried that yet. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I have got enough stuff here, because I just did loads when I made this card, um, to make another one. So I have... Um, cut out and embossed the for another card. I've got a card base here, and the um, card pieces to make another one. That's what I kept all the bits in little pocket. So if you want, I will make put together another card after we've cut out the um, die with the sentiments on. Well I'm going to emboss it. So let's see what we can do. Right, I need a piece of card so I've got some I keep going to say whisper white but it's not, it's thick basic a4 cardstock from Stampin' Up and I'm going to cut out a piece big enough for the die get another card blank out of that other half right and we've got to Put that on there, so I need my big block. Got that. I need my embossing body. Get all the fingerprints and I don't know what else off of the card with some Versafine. Apply it all over the stamp. Being very generous with this as it's a big stump and we're going to pop that down like that and press really hard on it Should do. Lift it up. Put it over there. Clean it up afterwards. And we'll bring in our gold embossing powder. Scrap of paper. 
and we're just going to can't remember how far up we had to go Nice. So that's one. It's the first step done. Next step is to heat and boss it. So let's warm the gun up. Thinking of you with simply that didn't come out as well. See a bit that not quite. Wishing you a year of magical moments and wonderful memories. That's quite nice. I'm so happy happy to celebrate these moments with you. Right then, let's get the die, right, I believe with this die, if you line up the stars, the heart, uh, there's two stars, there's a star there, a star there, and a heart up there, if you line them up, all the words fall into place. So I've lined it up. And I'm going to tape it down. And I'm going to bring in my big shot. this. Hopefully it hasn't moved. Doesn't look like it. I mean, this kind of die is where your magnetic base would come in handy. I don't know the last time I used mine. There's a heart. And 
There's my happy anniversary. And pop, pop, pop them all out. Thank you ever so much. Hoping your day is full of love, laughter and joy. That's a nice one for a wedding. So happy to hear your exciting news. Congratulations. So I just want this one. Or that. Just for this one. And there's my card. And I should pop that across there it's shining so much I can't very well tell like that happy anniversary like that just Tuck it in a little bit. Hmm. You do with a little, a small dimension under the end there. So that's nice that one. Now that would mean to get another happy anniversary I would have to cut out another one. So what I thought I would do, do the same arrangement but put a different sentiment on it. Um, I did like that. Uh, no. Where was that other one I had? There. So happy to see your exciting news. That would go nice on there as well. So I'm going to keep that one. Have to find something to keep these in. And what we'll do, we'll bring all these in. And all this lot I've got cut out. I always make too much when I do cards like this. So I'm going to glue the embossed piece, which is five and a half by three and three quarters, by the way. has to be if it's smaller than the gold and this gold is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths right, we're going to pop this on our card base which is five and seven eighths, no, eight and a quarter, yeah, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. In fact, this is my last, this was the last um, of my normal card bases I use. I've got none left. And it's been sat on the side for about four weeks waiting for me to film this card. The last time I did filming I didn't bother film it. Right, I need a piece of card, a scrap piece of card, and that this will do. At about that.
three inches. Now, what I did was I got these and all I did was glue the bottoms of each flower and I stuck them on this piece of card. Like this, I had in the card with the flowers and I got, oh by the way this is from Forever and Always. Yeah, these flowers are from Forever and Always. Right, now oh, leaves. I've got a few different, got some long leaves. Oh, I need another flower there. So I've got three big flowers left, a little flower left. Um, let's leave some after. And these little gold things. <clears throat> Looks like I've only got one bud. Oh, two buds, that's all right. One at the top, one at the bottom. Right. Now, I do want to put two leaves under there. So, I got two leaves and I glued them like that. Then I glued the underneath and stuck them. under the flower and then I cut this now hang on I've got to put yeah cut this corner off don't need that um, don't know what I did with the corner with the small flower that's going to go on there like that and then I put bud and one of these little gold these came out of was it this one I don't think it was this one I think it was no it was another it will come to me in a minute Um, I can't remember. It was either Forever Fern because I've got some of them here. Another leaf. Now this leaf I'll have to glue the top because we're going to stick it to the actual flower. And we're also going to stick a bud and a gold sprig. One way of putting it. And I'm going to pop them on there. I want 
two more leaves. You can do this with absolutely any um, flower design you want. And last two. And put these under here. And we're also going to stick some of these gold sprigs near them. Drop that. What else can I put on? Maybe some of these bigger leaves. No. A couple of more of these smaller ones. Just double them up. And then one more up there. That is my little arrangement. My bow, oh, my bouquet, as I call it. And then what we do, we put that on dimensionals. So, bring out the dimensionals, flip it over, and put them on. But you're all thinking, oh my god, she's putting loads on. Yes, I am putting loads on. But that's all right, I don't care. That feels safe. I have to take all these backs off. Oh, I didn't say I heat bossed all these flowers and bits in gold. Obviously because I did the sentiments in gold. I need another one. Oh, my bud. Right, I'm going to put that on. Right. That. Oh, 
that's quite nice. And then my congratulations will go across like that there with a mini dimensional on each end. and some glue across the middle or would it be better there? In fact it would be better there that won't look silly there There we are. My two cards using the many message dies and a load of other dies from Forever and Always. like them just shows you how you can use the many messages dies on different same stamps but different um, leaving a different message I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more cards I upload which is usually Monday Wednesday and Friday if you'd like to see more of my cards, don't forget to press the bell icon and which hopefully YouTube will notify you of my uploads. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.